Hey everyone, Anime Speech here, back with another One Piece Theory video with the title Who is Joy Boy in present time? But before all that, if you enjoy content like this, consider subscribing to my channel to be updated in weekly geek content. In chapter 972, Odin says that Wano must open its borders so that they can welcome the individual who has traversed through 800 years, who we know to be the supposed reincarnation of Joy Boy. Oda has written this part of the story in a way for us to feel that Luffy is Joy Boy, following the classic shonen stereotype of the boy from a certain prophecy. Continuing, the seeking said that Poseidon and this reincarnation of Joy Boy will meet in the future and since Luffy met Shirahoshi, it is only natural for us viewers to feel that Luffy is Joy Boy. Well, there is another character that we know that fits the role of Joy Boy perfectly and that character is Vivi. Let me explain why. Alabasta had a good relationship with the ancient kingdom 900 years ago. This is because of the presence of the Poneglyph of Pluton's location in Alabasta. If you pay attention to the lore, pretty much every single Poneglyph we've seen in the story were located in places or people we know had a good relationship with the Ancient Kingdom. The Minx, the Kozuki Clown, the Fishmen and so on. So it would make sense for the Alabasta Kingdom to have had a good relationship with the Ancient Kingdom. Furthermore, the Gorosei asked him which light they should extinguish from history, presumably wanting Vivi to be erased, since Im was holding Vivi's picture separate from the other pictures of Luffy, Shirahoshi and Blackbeard. We also know that something involving the Alabasta Kingdom happened at the Reverie. I think Nefertari Cobra was killed by the world government because of him raising questions about Poneglyphs Pluton, or even the Void Century itself. The blame of his murder was placed on the Revolutionary Army, specifically in Sabo, who had attacked the Reverie at that time. Okay, and now we're getting to the juicy parts. So, I think when these events took place in the Reverie, Sabo saved Vivi and sent her away with Karasu's ability to fly before he got captured. So Vivi might already be with Dragon at present time and if you go back to Dressrosa, the revolutionary army was present in Dressrosa due to their interest in the weapons Doflamingo was shipping, the weapons made by Kaido and Orochi. I think the revolutionaries will trace the source of these weapons to Wano and will arrive in Wano's Act 4. As I said in a previous video, about who will show up in Act 4 of Wano, I said that it's not impossible that after Kaido is defeated and Big Mom escapes, the Marines will show up with probably all three admirals behind their back, Kizaru, Fujitora and Grimbu, with the alliance at the brink of death. And that's when the revolutionary army arrives. They came for the weapons, but now they had a bigger situation at hand. Dragon will fight the admirals and will make the government retreat from Wano. And if all of these events happen with this order, let's see what we will have. Dragon will meet Luffy, as he mentioned, after Ennis lobby and will have a father-son moment with him. <laughs> Vivi, as I said, is with the Revolutionary Army up until now, and she will reunite with the Straw Hats here. And because Vivi arrived after Kaido is defeated, technically, Joy Boy arrived in Wano, as Odin said, with the borders of the country open, 
unlike Luffy, that had to liberate the country first. So naturally, Joy Boy can't be Luffy, but will probably be Vivi. From here, after obtaining the weapons, the revolutionary army leaves to fight the world government and retrieve Sabo. And Luffy, finally seeing the bigger picture and trusting Dragon after he saw how strong he was versus the admirals. He is continuing to find the last Poneglyph and the One Piece before it's too late, accompanied by Vivi since Joy Boy must also witness the true history of the world in the final island, Lafty, before the final war that will overthrow the government. And that's it for today's theory, don't forget to like, subscribe and share, it would help me a lot. This was Anime Speech, until next time, peace.